Hello and welcome to Lion's Apogee. This is Brian and I am going to tell you today about the Spectrum Active water resistant pouch. Now the reason I got this is because I compete in a lot of OCR events and somehow my Galaxy S5, even though it's waterproof and it has a life proof case and all that good stuff, still seems to get water in it even if I put uh, a hefty duty like Ziploc bag around it. So I decided to get this. I got a five below for five dollars and it is uh, waterproof, dirt proof, sand proof and snow proof from what it says right here. And also it says it's compatible with, uh, let's see, MP3 players, iPod devices, smartphones, Android devices, iPhones, iPhone 6 Plus, Samsung Galaxy S4, and it has like a little measuring device over here. I'm not, supposed, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be this way or this way. I guess we'll find out if this even fits it. So it also has a uh, 3.5 millimeter audio jack somehow, and it says uh, that this is a universal size. I'm not sure if it's going to fit mine or not. 100% waterproof, universal fit. It says up to like three feet deep. It says it comes with a neck strap, built in 3.5 auxiliary input, simple snap and lock access and full access to, to uh, the touch screen. IPX7 certified up to three feet deep. And then again, more pictures down here of all the stuff that supposedly it um, protects it against. I'll say that supposedly. Until, until I try it out, I won't know. So I'm gonna crank this thing open here. And I guess we'll find out. I'm gonna open her up and then we'll see if my phone even fits in it. Yes, if you're not aware, a can opener is really good at opening these packages. <laughs> okay, as I open this up, there's actually a piece of paper that says warning and caution about following the instructions uh, for water. Make sure you water test it beforehand and uh, fasten all the locks and seals and whatnot. And, that you're exposing your device on your own risk. How weird. For something that's supposed to be waterproof. He even tells you how to water test it. All right, that makes me worry. That makes me worry. Okay, so let's give this a try. I know this isn't three feet deep, but it'll work for our purposes for now. I'm just gonna dunk her in there. And then I'm gonna let it wait. I'm gonna uh, leave it in for a couple hours and see what happens. Actually, let's flip it. Let's really make sure All right, that should do, that should do. All right, so we're gonna give it a couple hours and we'll see what happens. All right, so we're coming back, checking on the progress. Uh, turn the screen on to see if you could still use the screen even if it was underwater, and you totally can. I mean, it's kind of a pain, but it still works. And it's, it's kind of like, there's like an air bubble in here, so you gotta press and, but still, it's true to what they say. So they said you could totally still use it. You can. You just have to be able to finagle it a bit. So far, doesn't look like any water in there. Just turn that off. So far, so good. We're gonna leave it for a little longer. All right, the time's up. So here we got. Let's open her up. Lift it in there for a good long while. Ziploc! That's so much fun. These things are kind of kind of a pain, but I guess it's worth it if, it's, if it works, right? Hook things. Woo! Come on out. <laughs> I guess the hard part could be get, actually getting the foam back out. Oh, good God. Alright. Alright. Totally dry. Alright. Okay, final thoughts of the Spectrum Active Water Resistant Pouch. So, phone's dry, totally bone dry, all right? Not bad, I left it in there for a good long time. These two, um, I'm gonna call them like Ziploc lock things. I, I feel like they'd wear out after a while and uh, if you got a bubble in them, it wouldn't work so well, but it held up, it held its own. You know, it was there for a, a couple hours in water. Uh, I know it says up to three feet, and I, I pretty much only use the sink, but I uh, used what I had. And I just feel like this could be a little thicker, a little bit thicker, maybe. But I'll give it a 7 out of 10, because it did work really well, and you could still, you know, touch screen it and everything while it was in the pouch. And uh, I feel like that would be beneficial to some people. It wouldn't be beneficial to me. I don't know why I would use the touch screen. I just need to protect it. <laughs> That's about it. 
but for five bucks you can't beat it over at Five Below. And it's uh, something good that if you are in an OCR event, if you're in a running event, you know, Tough Mudder or something like that, and you wanted to protect your phone against the mud, water, dirt, and whatnot, this would be a good cheap option. I still would suggest putting a good rugged case on your phone so you don't crush your phone and, and break your screen. But uh, if you're just trying to keep it out of, you know, the, the water and whatnot, this is definitely a good option. So it's the Spectrum Active Water Resistant Pouch over at Five Below for $5. And I will see you guys next time.